this is this is happening. Certainly, there are things we can do for prevention in the future. But because this this epidemic is upon us now, what would be the top three things you would recommend for a, a better creating a better life mm. for people with autism? Mm. I would look at diet number one, and I would start with something simple that everyone can do, which is take out artificial ingredients. Artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, MSG, all of that. It's very, it's the, a really easy way, but we can see dramatic improvement with, with our children with ADHD or autism or any of them. And then looking at taking out the inflammatory foods. For children with autism, it's often gluten and dairy can be very inflammatory. They creates a inability to digest them and they actually end up with opiates like morphine or heroin that are floating around that can fit in the opiate receptor and trigger a very similar brain chemical response. So getting out the inflammatory foods or the foods that are causing neurological challenges and then adding good healthy nutrition in because a lot of them have underlying let's say methylation issues or things that require good folate so just even simple things like getting good vegetables into your kids I know that can be challenging with autism particularly we know that they are known to be picky eaters and there's a number of reasons for that but I really like to encourage parents not to despair and to keep going because you can get really creative with texture and you can start to make vegetables I just had a client the other day in this program that I'm doing and she wrote back the mom wrote back and said you know my child is eating vegetables for the first time and they're not earth-shattering ideas but they are creative ideas that I think a lot of parents sometimes get stuck so if we can just make healthy foods more kid friendly then we can start to get them to eat healthier well where can we go to see some examples of that because that does seem like a simple thing that we can do right away that can change the lives of our little ones absolutely so they can find more information my book's called nourishing hope for autism and i have a website nourishinghope.com and the, there's all sorts of in, helpful information recipes and things to help parents get started Beautiful. Well, thank you for giving so much hope to so many. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I don't know if I've ever heard the better name of a website in my life, nourishinghope.com, because nourishing our bodies, nourishing our souls, nourishing our children, is there any better way to live better? Thank you for your courage to nourish yourself, to nourish your little ones, to nourish the world, and to continue on this journey.